Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today's video is all about sound, more specifically some of the best audio equalizer software for Windows 10 and Windows 11 in 2022. So without further ado, let's just dive right into the world of equalizers. The first EQ software we're talking about is Boom 3D, which is an amazing sound tool that not only gives you the option to play with the sound in its equalizer, but also boosts your sound. The user interface is super simple and you don't have to do a lot of things to enjoy this software directly out of the box. Simply drag and drop a song you want to play or even more than that create a playlist because obviously you're not going to load the track every time manually when you're having some friends over. And then you're just good to go. But before you jump into the equalizer you can also play with some of the unique effects Boom 3D has to offer such as 3D surround, ambience which increases the high frequencies, fidelity to increase clarity, night mode which is literally reducing your volume and maybe filters your sound a bit, spatial which is a type of room reverb, and of course pitch, which will pitch your songs high or low, but the pitch is not something that I would fiddle with as it can ruin your songs. Moving now to the equalizer, the process is straightforward. The basic equalizer spans over 10 bands and you can also go advanced mode with 30 bands of frequency if you really are picky about your sound. All you have to do is grab one of these points and slide them up or down to increase or reduce the respective frequency. But if you don't care so much about manually increasing or reducing your frequencies, you also have a list of presets that will help you obtain the desired sound. All in all, Boom 3D is a great EQ with unique features, so if you want to test it out, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Next on this list is Adobe Audition, which is a bit different. This is not so much meant for listening to music straight out of the box, but it's more of a digital audio workstation. This means Adobe Audition is used more for editing audio and post-processing everything into a final product. The user interface is very much Adobe style, so it can be a bit hard to learn it from day one if you're not so much acquainted with Adobe's suite. But when it comes to equalizing your audio, well, this is the software you should go for. Audition comes with two types of equalizers, the parametric equalizer and the graphic equalizer. The difference between the two is that the parametric one is smoother in terms of frequency slopes, whereas the graphic equalizer works on specific frequencies. The graphic equalizer is something you would use on specific frequencies and comes with a couple of presets between 10, 20 and 30 bands, where in exchange on the parametric one you have the freedom of choosing your own frequency areas. Other than that, Audition features many other effects, from delays to reverbs and all kinds of stereo imaging tools, as well as noise reduction and compression, which will give you the best possible results. So if you want to try Adobe Audition, make sure to check the link in the description below. Now let's move on to something more simple which doesn't require almost anything at all, and that's FX Sound, which is super easy to use and it works on top of any of your players, including streaming platforms, your browser and pretty much everything else. When you access FX Sound, you will be met with a minimalistic user interface that comes with a few unique effects on the left pane, such as clarity, ambience, surround and boost, which are easily controllable by playing with the slider. On the right side you have a very interesting equalizer because not only it's a graphic equalizer but it also blends with the qualities of a parametric equalizer. So you get 9 bands of frequency but you can also adjust the knobs for the specific frequencies you want to tackle and from there on you can just slide up and down for increasing or decreasing the intensity of a certain frequency. More than that, if you don't care so much about manual control, you can also have a basic list of presets that will help you get fast results. Of course, if you create your own sound signature, you then access the menu in the lower left corner of the app and save it as a new preset. So if you want to go simple without much fuzz, make sure to try out FX Sound by accessing the link in the description below. And lastly, another cool app you should try out is Desk FX Audio Enhancer, which works similarly to FX Sound, but has a different user interface. As soon as you access this app, you will get by default a 20 bands equalizer, which can also be reduced down to 3 bands if you want to keep it super simple. But the cool part is that you actually have 3 equalizers you can use. A visual one, which is a blend of graphic and parametric EQ, a graphic EQ, and lastly a parametric EQ for detailed control over your frequencies. As with all the other apps, you can also select a preset if you want to, and besides all of this, you get a bunch of cool effects to play with, such as amplify, to amplify your sounds, low pass and high pass filters, compressors, 
bass boost, reverbs, echoes and many other interesting experiments. All in all, DeskFX is a very comprehensive tool to use with your music and other sounds, so feel free to test it out by accessing the link in the description below. And that's pretty much it. These were some of the best equalizers out there and if you enjoyed this video, as usual, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.